My name is Carissa Licciadello. I'm the co-adapter and director of A Room of One's Own. Tom Wright and I adapted A Room of One's Own uh, for the 2020 season and it was originally going to be staged in March and then of course COVID happened. I think on our first day of rehearsal everything kind of got shut down. We ended up being lucky enough to be one of the first shows back and the first show back at Belvoir in September and now we're bringing it back this year which is really exciting because we're at the stage where we can have a full audience and because it's the kind of piece where Anita is speaking directly to the audience for a lot of it uh, it's the kind of piece that really benefits from having a lovely full room of people. So we're really excited about that. Virginia Woolf set out to write on this topic of women and fiction in the mid 1920s. And she started out writing a talk to give to uh, some young women who were starting to go to these big men's colleges. She came away with this famous conclusion of women need money, they need financial support and they need space if they're going to write and if they're going to write well. But how she gets there is not through a kind of series of logical arguments or um, by just telling us what her opinion is. Instead, at the outset, she says, let me show you. Virginia asks us to imagine with her this series of women who have come before us, women who have come through history and uh, maybe were silent or maybe got to write, but only a little bit. And she also imagines women that uh, may not have existed, like what if Shakespeare had a sister? What would her life have been like? She asks us to imagine those women and then she evokes the kind of despair and the anger that must have been part of their lives and then turns to the future and goes, well, what is the woman writer coming 100 years down the track going to be like and what is she going to need in order to succeed? And we really wanted to find a way to bring those women to life in this production and I think also to put on stage Virginia's extraordinary imagination because she thinks through poetic imagery and she thinks through metaphor. Uh, and we really wanted to realize that on stage. Because the piece started out as a talk or a lecture, it still kind of has that in its bones. So it really lends itself to being spoken aloud to an audience. And with an actor like Anita Haig, it's a real treat to uh, watch her take that on with her kind of combination of warmth and intelligence and wit. When I read A Room of One's Own for the first time, what struck me was how contemporary Wolf's voice was. It really felt like she was reaching through history to speak to me. And I think a lot of young women I know who've read this book feel the same way. The other thing that's striking about Virginia's text is that her analysis of the particular kind of masculinity that's behind colonialism and that's behind capitalism feels very relevant today. The kind of uh, anger and rage of women that she taps in this book feels like it's still absolutely present in our culture and the thing that's most exciting to me about this text is she spends a lot of it talking about women and men and the differences between them but where she lands and where she ends up the idea of gender that she comes to at the end of the piece is something that I think we'd recognise as much more contemporary and much more where our kind of gender politics are sitting now so there is so much in her text that is extraordinarily resonant and relevant to us now that I'm excited for people to take away from it.